What is up my dudes, it's your boy Drew here from MechaWorks, today bringing you guys an update. Um, on both cars, I think I'm just going to go ahead and roll this into one video. Unfortunately, my Rode Wireless died uh, through my last video, and I'm just going to go ahead and film these while I have the time. So, uh, you guys are on a shotgun mic, hopefully you guys can hear me. So, I just did a video uh, of three things that is very commonly wrong with the E30s. Uh, if you guys want to see that, make sure you go check it out. I have it down in the description. Go check it out finger guns all day so i just want to give you guys a rundown on the updates for the s62 and the s54 car um i'm saying i'm a lot just because this is kind of like impromptu kind of on the spot i wasn't really planning on doing this video today it's just i have the time for it so i've been out of town for about two and a half months and i've been home in those two and a half months for about two or three days <laughs> so trying to find uh, the time to shoot videos and then work on the cars. Also, I don't know if you could see behind me uh, my very, very messy garage. The flooring that's in here. So uh, we're putting new floors in the house. And so it's, it's total chaos. <laughs> so um, yeah, so let me give you guys a rundown. So I can't see where I'm shooting you guys because uh, so I gotta speak this way because the shotgun mic is in front. So we have my Mishimoto radiator that I've had forever and uh, we're pulling everything out of the storage room so I can uh, put, or so we can put the floors down. And uh, the S62 car is not in the state that I want it to be in. I have like 5,000 things in the interior. You can see through there. Uh, the seats are back in it, kind of folded backwards and then the dash is in there. Uh, the dash that's going to be replacing the dash. That has, I could just open the damn door. Hold on, let me set my phone down. I'm just being lazy, that's all. So yeah, it's a giant mess. Believe me, I'm not happy about it either, but I gotta move all the shit out of the house so they can put the floors down. And uh, yeah, I'm not too happy about it either. So here's the S62. Just still chilling, uh, waiting on some special rev shift mounts right here. So uh, the issue, we cleared the oil pan now. Hopefully you guys could see that. So we cleared the oil pan now. The only problem now is coming up with uh, an angled mount. So this is there's too much of a gap right here, and I'm not going to put a shim in there because that's, that's dangerous. Uh, you just want a mount that fits. So John over at rev shift, the owner, uh, he's hooking me up with that, uh, but he also his plate's been pretty full as well So it's kind of been a minute, but I know he's still working on it. He's my man uh, so yeah, the garage is just in total chaos right now and I like my workspace nice and neat and clean and this is not nice and neat and clean. I can tell you that um, We got some more s62 parts back on the shelf here. I'm selling my fuel cell if anybody wants it uh, hit me up and I'm selling it. I really don't want to ship it, but I will. So uh, my GoPro looks like it's about to die. So that means we got to kind of wrap this up. So the S54 car still chilling here. Um, I have noticed that the steering rack is getting pretty loose in it. So it looks like we're going to order a new E46 M3 rack for it and probably just go ahead and replace all the suspension up front uh, as far as uh, control arms and tie rods go because it's probably about time anyway i think they've been on the car for about three years now and the car does get driven pretty hard so it's probably time to change them out other than that it just needs uh coil packs still haven't gotten around to the coil packs on them the s62 car the uh rear suspension is still here on the ground i just like i said i haven't gotten time to get to it the fuel tank is still right there and uh, honestly, to get this car together is just a matter of putting the fuel tank up, getting the rear suspension up, getting the new fuel lines ran, putting the new subframe in in the front, and then dropping the motor in. It's, all, it's literally just putting the car together, and I just have not had the time to do it since I've been out of town for the last two and a half months. So uh, hoping to get some time now. Hopefully I'll be home for about a month, and um, I do have a video coming out about that beast right there. I bought one. 
I'm really happy about it. Uh, got a really good deal on it uh, while I was out of town, and uh, my fiance was very happy when she saw that pull in the driveway. <laughs> so she was like, what? So uh, she loves it too, but uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the video right there because I know I'm rambling, I'm excited, and at the same time, I'm trying to beat my GoPro dying. So uh, you guys take it easy. Remember to do awesome, be awesome, and stay awesome. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.